Hi, I'm Coach Kane from Straight Blast Gym, Portland, Oregon, and this is Assistant Coach Ella. Uh, we're continuing to look at how to attack the far arm when you're in cross-side bottom and your guard has just gotten passed. Uh, we're going to look at a little bit of a close range scenario where uh, Ella has passed my guard and she's starting to settle into a cross face. Uh, she's got good arm in a shoulder position. She hasn't quite uh, sunk her weight in on it yet. There. And so, um, this arm, my hand cups over the shoulder like this. My elbow is going to drive in and under her chin like this. This hand, I'm going to grab the bicep. My elbow is going to come in and lift. Like that. Uh, this is going to be my frames that I'm going to use to work from here. And so, I'm, if Ella just backs right off of me and I'm going to keep my arms in position, uh, it looks like that. And so, uh, the, the difference between a good one and a bad one here is kind of subtle. Uh, good, bad, good, bad. Uh, some of it is just arm tension. So, I should feel like my shoulders are trying to touch in the front, and I should feel like my elbows are also trying to touch. Uh, and when you bring your elbows in and try to touch, it creates a little bit of lifting. Can you see that lifting? How it's lifting? And it, when this is done right, there's going to be a tiny little bit of space between your chest and theirs. And that space is going to be really crucial. So she's trying to get chest to chest, and my arms coming in and doing that, it's going to create a little bit of space for me. Uh, and that, that space is going to be what I'm going to use to work to create more space. So let's look at it again. Over the top of the shoulder, elbow under the chin. Grab the bicep, bring it in, and then try to get your elbows to, to touch like that with that little bit of lift. Uh, from here, you have really the same two pressures. So one is to oop it in like that and use that to create some space. I'm going to take these fingers and tuck them under her armpit. I'm going to grab uh, the wrist with this hand and create a frame that looks like that. And so I'm basically building to this frame, which is a really solid frame, creates a lot of space. So let's look again, we'll change the angle a little bit. Here, there's my good strong frames. Oop my in, hand, grab, space. And then I'll take advantage of that to create some kind of escape. As always, you sometimes need a pressure in the other direction, so we'll do that. Maybe but it's too tight and I can't get this in. And so if you can't get this in, I'm actually going to switch and go the other way, so I'll do the body part first. So I'm just turning away. In addition to that turn away, I'm going to take this hand and move it to the ear. And I'm going to shove her down my body. So it's going to look like this. That's going to create some space. So I'm going to build that same frame in reverse. In the armpit. Grab the wrist. And move. And you'll create some sort of a scenario for escape. So let's take a look at that again. Not working. Um, you can obviously change your frame from a uh, short frame to a long frame if you have the space at the end. So I'll show that real quick so you can see it. Long frame. And then uh, if you've done any of my videos, you know how to build a base. Like that. And so that's an option. I'll do that one more time. <coughs> 